Sarah had always admired her grandmother, a quiet woman with a secret smile and a gentle presence. When her grandmother passed away five years ago, Sarah thought she had made peace with the loss. But one rainy October afternoon, an envelope arrived with her name on it, written in the familiar cursive that was unmistakably her grandmother's. Inside the envelope was a rusty key and a letter. If you're reading this, I'm gone, but there's something I need you to find. You must go to the attic. Sarah was intrigued, though a little unnerved. She couldn't shake the feeling that her grandmother had left her one last mystery to solve. The following Saturday, Sarah climbed the narrow staircase to the attic, carrying the key and a flashlight. The attic was just as she remembered it from her childhood, dusty and filled with old trunks, forgotten furniture, and memories suspended in cobwebs. She scanned the room, her eyes settling on a small chest hidden under a dusty quilt in the corner. She knelt, slid the key into the lock, and heard the satisfying click as it opened. Inside, she found a bundle of letters tied with a faded ribbon and an old leather-bound journal. She carefully untied the ribbon and picked up the journal, recognizing her grandmother's handwriting on the first page. The words pulled her into another world, one where her grandmother was not just grandma, but a young woman full of dreams, heartache, and adventure. Sarah read about a man named Thomas, a man her grandmother loved deeply but who had passed away tragically before they could marry. Sarah's heart ached as she read about the love her grandmother had lost. She discovered that in her grief, her grandmother had left her old life behind, changed her name, and built a new one. No one in the family had ever known about Thomas, nor the life she had lived before meeting Sarah's grandfather. This hidden chapter of her grandmother's life was like discovering a secret world, and Sarah felt an odd closeness to her, like she was connecting with a stranger she already knew. As she turned the pages, Sarah found a series of letters from Thomas, filled with words of love, dreams of a future together, and plans that would never be fulfilled. She held each letter as if it were made of glass, feeling the weight of her grandmother's long-buried pain. At the bottom of the chest, she found a velvet pouch containing a small heart-shaped locket. Inside the locket were photos of her grandmother and Thomas, smiling and young, captured in a moment that was forever theirs. She ran her fingers over the locket, feeling its warmth as if her grandmother's love had somehow preserved it all these years. With a heavy heart, Sarah placed everything back into the chest, feeling as though she had unlocked not just a hidden part of her grandmother's past, but a part of herself she never knew existed. She descended the stairs slowly, holding the locket tightly in her hand, thinking of the choices her grandmother had made and the life she had lived in silence. In the days that followed, Sarah would often find herself lost in thought, remembering the love story she had uncovered. She wondered if perhaps we all carry hidden worlds within us, chapters of our lives that are kept secret even from those we hold dear. Her grandmother's story, once unknown, now felt like a legacy, a gift that had been waiting to be discovered. As she sat by the window, holding the locket close to her heart, Sarah felt a profound sense of gratitude. She knew that she would carry her grandmother's story with her always, a silent reminder of the secrets that shape us and the love that transcends time.